Today we're going to take a look at how you can print to your network printer from your Next. The first thing we'll do is ensure that we're connected to the network. To do that, use a handy little tool that you'll find in your Demos folder under ESP called Wi-Fi.bas. Once you've loaded the tool, you can run it. We'll do some initialization of the network module. And once that's done, you can connect to your network. You can see at the moment we're not connected to any network. We can set our SID using option one in the menu. Enter your SID name. Then you enter your password. Once you've entered your password, it'll take a few seconds and you should be connected to your network. You can see that I'm connected to the Taylor Home Network and I've received an IP address from my DHCP server. We can now quit the application. Now that we're connected to the network, we can install our printer driver. To do that, we'll use the dot install command and install Wi-Fi drv. This is going to fail, but I want to show you this. It tells me that there's no such file or directory. The reason for that is I changed into the directory to load the Wi-Fi.bas tool. And we're still there. And I have currently have my driver in the root directory. So what we're going to do is we'll just change to the root directory. Right. And do a dot ls to confirm. We're in the right place. And we see there that right at the end, we have Wi-Fi prn.drv. Right. So let's do that install again. Dot install Wi-Fi prn.drv. The driver is now installed, and all that's left for us to do is to tell the driver where our printer is on the network. We need to tell it the IP address. So what we'll do is we will open a channel to the driver. In this case, we're going to use channel 3, which is the default printer channel. And we will use the syntax to communicate with the driver and set the options. Normally, this would be to open a file or something like that. In this case, we're going to communicate directly with the driver with IDP, which is the printer driver, our driver that we just installed. And it accepts as a parameter the IP address of your printer. So 192.168.5.39. Obviously, that will be different on your network. And if all goes well, we'll get an OK response. And we are now set to go. To validate that it's all working, we can run an lmlist command, which will redirect the code listing to a printer. You should see our printer wake up. And within a few moments, we'll see the pages start coming up. You'll notice that the basic program has already been completed printing, and the next is ready to use. All the data has been sent to the printer. And there comes our first page. This is a multi-page print, so I won't put you through waiting for that to complete. And there you go. We have a printout of our application code. In this case, it's a printout of the Wi-Fi tool that we used earlier to connect to the network. I hope you find that useful and I hope to speak to you again soon.